On campus, Cabrini offers many different events and activities to go to, but what happens outside of campus is a different story. Let's take a look and see what beautiful places Radnor PA has to offer. Originally, both of us are from New Jersey, so coming to Cabrini University was a completely whole new experience for us. We didn't know anything about Radnor and we didn't know where anything was. We did GPS everything for a good like three months. We could not understand these roads either. <laughs> um, now that we know it, it's a lot easier to get around and we go to a lot of different places that we probably would still go to at home, but here it's different. Me and my friends go to Valley Forge every Tuesday to go hiking. And then sometimes during the week we'll go driving like the trails too and listen to music and just talk. And then sometimes we do picnics. And it's kind of fun during the fall because all the leaves are changing and like when you go up like a big hill you can see like everything surrounding you like the trees. So there's many things to do off campus here at Cabrini. You could go to the KOP mall, you could go to the movie theater in Radnor, you could go to the bowling alley in Devon. There's a park right down the street. We're right across the street from Eastern. You could go over there and fish at their lakes. Yeah, so we go to the mall like a lot, like <laughs> all the time. We both like work there, um, but we're always there. We go to Dunkin' Donuts a lot. We find all different Dunkins that are open like 24 hours. Who makes it the best? Who knows our <laughs> orders by heart? Like it's ridiculous. Also, we can walk to like so fun frozen yogurt, Chipotle Panera, and we just walk there. It takes like 20 minutes, so that's fun. Mm -hmm. There are many different places you can go to in Wayne. Little coffee shops, thrift stores, and local bakeries are just a few to name. Other popular places for college students include Wawa, Starbucks, and Campus Corner. What I do off campus is I work at the mall, Pink Victoria's Secret, um, well, Pink, and I'm a regular sales there slash generalist, and I basically work at a register or I sell or I back stock and like boring stuff like that. Um, and then usually what I, when I'm not at work, I either go food shopping or I shop at the mall or I wait for the shuttle for like hours. I also walk around Wayne with friends and we go to Starbucks and then sometimes we do painting with a twist, which you can pick on the website like which painting you want and like they have different prices and different sessions like one hour and two hour and there's an instructor that she instructs you throughout the way like you don't have to have the painting like exactly like hers but like she can teach you like different techniques and yeah that's pretty fun and also we go to the pet store because we all really like cats and they have like a big selection of like kittens and you're allowed to like play with them and like pick them up and it's a good time. This place called Playful Pets and it's in Contra Hawken and we drive there all the time and even though it's not in Radnor, it's still yeah. close by. And if you ever need like pet therapy, they're always just out. You can play with them anytime. That's where I got my puppy from, so I'm very glad we went. Uh, it's a great place. It's so much fun. And then on our free time, we like to work out, so we do go <laughs> to this place called Radnor Trail. It's one of the best trails around. It's very peaceful, calming, and it's very easy to get to. Yeah, it's like 10 minutes away. It's very safe. Like I don't feel scared like running around on the trail by myself and stuff. So. If you don't think Radnor has a lot to offer, you can always take a 20 minute train ride into Philadelphia where you can explore even more. You can go to places like Magic Gardens, Phillies Games, and much more in the city. So if you're interested in any of these activities, go out and explore Radnor today.